Hey, look, we're not talking about Marvel finally. Woot woot. <laughs> It's your friendly neighborhood Nicole in editing. Um, I just want to say I'm really sorry about the audio at the beginning of this video for a good 10 minutes or so. Um, my air conditioning was on, so that's what you're hearing. I'm really sorry about that. I didn't realize that it was even on. It's one of you know, it's one of those white background noises that you don't even hear. So I didn't notice until really deep into the video that it's actually my air conditioner was on and right in front of the microphone, so I'm very sorry about that. Um, also, my fan is on, so that's what you're hearing right now. But uh, yeah, very, very sorry about that. Hey dudes, what's up? It's Iron Assassin, and today we're here to talk about Watch Dogs Legion. So, Watch Dogs Legion is the third Watch Dogs game in the franchise. Watch Dogs 1, Watch Dogs 2, Watch Dogs Legion. Now, I have not played Watch Dogs 2 at all. It's on my list, but I haven't played it. And I haven't played it specifically because I played Watch Dogs 1 last year, I think? Or maybe, yeah, I think like summer of last year I bought it because I heard it, you know. I watched it at the E3 when it was announced, it looked really cool, ambitious, and then the game came out and everyone was disappointed. But I still bought it years later discounted price because it I still wanted to check it out for myself it takes place in Chicago you know my home so I know the land very very well it sounded interesting like all these things and I was not disappointed but it was just very bland I do have to say it was very cut and dry it was very not what I was expecting I think I beat the game in a day like it just it wasn't a lot it was very bland very nothing right so I never bought Watch Dogs 2 I might buy it at some point but never played it so I wasn't expecting to want to buy Watch Dogs 3 wasn't expecting it at all I was like you know what I'll, I'll watch the press conference, like, I'll see what it's all about. I mean, Ubisoft, they literally, it literally got leaked, like, an hour before their presentation, which is freaking hilarious, because Ubisoft, I don't know what it is about Ubisoft, but their stuff get, gets leaked every year. Everything gets leaked. I don't, how do you, Ubisoft, how do you keep doing that? Assassin's Creed Odyssey was leaked way before its announcement. Like, the story creator mode for Assassin's Creed Odyssey leaked way before its announcement. The Watch Dogs stuff was leaked, like, three weeks ago and then leaked again right before the press conference. So I don't, I don't know what's going on with Ubisoft. Is it, like, do they need to leak stuff out? Like, is this, like, a media thing to get people interested before the press conference? I don't know. I have no idea. But I watched it, watched the press conference, and... I am slightly disappointed that I want the game now. Now, I'm not disappointed that I want the game. I'm disappointed that I want the game and I'm going to spend money on the game. This is what I'm saying. Because if you don't know, there's a lot of games coming out in 2020. So many, so many games. And I'm just not ready for it at all. Sorry if you're hearing my air conditioning going that whole time. Um, hopefully that didn't ruin the audio too much. But anyways... I just like there's so many games coming out next year and now I have to add Watch Dogs to that list that I want so just you know more money but I'm gonna talk about it a little bit so first things first it takes place in London a futuristic London which is very very interesting because of course I don't know if you guys know this but London is well known for it being very 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 high in cameras like, I think a camera to every 14 people, which is insane. So it's a very interesting location. But I also have to say, seems a very Assassin's Creed Syndicate to me, doesn't it? Aha! Ubisoft, I see what you did there. I'm just saying, Watch Dogs 3 kind of looks like a reskin of Assassin's Creed Syndicate. I'm, ju I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm... 
I'm just saying they both take place in London. They both had you recruit people for like a little like gang thing. They're both, you know, assassins, right? They both kill people, right? Um, both kind of want to take down an evil power that's kind of taken over the government. Um, parallels? Parallels. Parallels. I'm just saying, Watch Dogs, Watch Dogs Legion and Assassin's Creed Syndicate, very, very similar. Very, very similar. So, you can become everyone in this game. Everyone. Everyone. Every NPC you see, you can play as them, which is interesting. Very ambitious, but interesting. You can play as like an old lady assassin. You can play as like a hipster heck girl. You can play as a ex-spy. You can play as a waiter. So, I, it's just very interesting. Very ambitious. Like, voice acting. Like, how many voice actors did they cast? Mocapping. Like, how many mocaps do they got? How many actual varieties of characters do they got? Like, there's a lot in this game that they're promising. And I'm a little worried. Very ambitious. A little worried. If you can play as every character you see, that's a lot to live up to. A lot to live up to. So, I don't know. I don't know. So it looks like you can still character customize, which is really good because that was probably my, one of my favorite things from Watch Dogs 1. Um, I love put in, putting Aiden in different costumes and different hats. Uh, so I'm glad they kept that, especially with the mask that you get to use for your little, for the gang or whatever. Character customization. You can never go wrong. So there's also this new system in Watch Dogs that's called permadeath. If a character dies, they're dead forever. Do you know how many characters I'm gonna kill? Do you know? Do you know how many times I killed Aiden by going on a motorcycle and just, you know, taking a turn too sharp and then there he goes flying and he's dead? So I'm gonna hopefully not get attached to any of the characters. I will. I'm definitely gonna get attached to the characters and then I'm gonna kill them and I'm gonna be disappointed. It's gonna happen. I promise you. I kill a lot of characters okay i do because sometimes i'll just go in guns blazing and that's a stupid idea but here we are with permadeath and i am gonna kill so many characters i'm gonna kill so many characters they're all gonna die every one of them i'm gonna get into a motorcycle i'm gonna go too fast i'm gonna hit something and they're gonna fly off and they're gonna die okay that's gonna happen i just have to prepare myself for it now when i buy the game so, let's get to the meat of this. Looks a lot better than Watch Dogs 1. Of course, you know, graphics change a lot, right? All that stuff. But, it's very ambitious. And I've been saying ambitious a lot in this video, but like, it is. This game is very ambitious. And I hope it pays off. I really do. I'm worried that it's too ambitious for their own good i'm worried that they're telling us that it's going to be great and amazing and it's not going to be because that's what they promised with Watch Dogs one they promised this amazing like you get to hack everything you get to get, do all this cool stuff like blah 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 and honestly it was very mediocre it was very okay right it was just it was okay it was just okay so they're saying a lot in Watch Dogs Legion. They're promising a lot. They show gameplay. It looks good. It looks really good. So I'm just a bit worried. You know, just a little bit. I don't want Ubisoft to disappoint. And they might. Honestly, they might. But I'm hoping this game is good. It looks good. The concept very interesting. It seems like a very interesting concept. You can be anyone. You can be the old lady assassin girl. Like it looks good, and I'm excited for the game. But it's just so ambitious. It's very ambitious, and Ubisoft can disappoint sometimes. 
Ubisoft could also do good. They, they've done some great games, you know? But sometimes, uh, sometimes they disappoint. So I'm, I'm praying for you, Ubisoft. I'm praying for Watch Dogs Legion. I'm hoping Watch Dogs Legion is kind of the, the resurgence of Watch Dogs, right? Uh, you know, not a lot of people know about the games. Like, I don't think they do very well. I think they do all right, but they're not, like, amazing. Um, they've never been, like, you know, game of the year type games. So I'm hoping Watch Dogs Legion is that game, finally. That it is, like, that outstanding, breathtaking, like, game. Like, it is that game. I'm, I'm hoping for it. But, but we'll see. We'll see. Fingers crossed. But, uh, yeah. Uh, comment down below. What do you think about Watch Dogs? What did you think about the Ubisoft press conference? A little weird, uh, with the Just Dance stuff. They're also putting Just Dance to the Wii. <laughs> I was like, do people still play the Wii? I, okay, Ubisoft, you do you. But, uh, yeah, comment down below. Are you gonna go Watch Dogs Legion? What do you think about it? Like, you know, just comment down below. And, uh, yeah. I hope you did enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe all the way up as a part of you, Avengers Unlimited, and hit the like button with your hidden blade. And, uh, yeah. I'm hoping Watch Dogs Legion's gonna be good. I really am. Because, you know, there's just a lot of games in 2020. Hope it's good. But, yeah. See you just later. Bye!